welcome to my video I'm Jennifer Roberts you're either catching me on my YouTube channel True Divine 44 or my Facebook page True Divine 44 like share subscribe and comments are greatly appreciated on either or both of those platforms and much love to everybody who's done that thus far I'm putting out as much free content as I can mainly via tarot to help support guide and inspire everybody that wants to be supported guided and inspired I suppose so a lot of it that I put out for free is general I pick up on the collective energies and translate those via tarot so take what resonates with you leave the rest behind you can always book a private reading with me via any of the contact details above or below this video or you can message me on Facebook Messenger through True Divine 44 the page so um, I also do energy work sessions which just help you recognize for starts and facilitate and use use that energy around your body and to be able to draw the energy that is around you the whole time to help support you and and uplift you and empower you so we do i do those sessions too via facetime skype zoom whatever modem you have of doing it i'll try and um get that sorted if, it, if i'm not already using it so um that's about it so today is the 13th of april 2020 happy monday and i'm putting out the invitation for the energies of the day for the 13th of april um it's the good energies good energies so the first card is the ace of pentacles so we've got this new opportunities coming up these new ideas these new creative creative ideas the things that that we try we're, we're all trying to think so how do we sustain ourselves in this new but not quite new we're not quite there yet to see what things are going to be like after this thing that we've all been through collectively so but in the meantime we're still having these ideas these these creative ideas to see how we will sustain ourselves and trying to fit that into a picture of, of what life will look like and how we will actually attain that. So there's um, lots of pondering, consideration going on, but because this is the Ace of Pentacles, this is good because it means either you've been watching my videos for the other ones that have been saying about thoughts become things or you've been watching somebody else or you've just instinctively had that download in at uh, that inner standing to start manifesting through thought the way you want life to sustain you the way you want it to exist what you want to create um you've already been doing that because this ace of pentacles is here so this is the new opportunities that are that are there for you and and new ways of you um attaining goals and and creating something that will sustain you it also talks about um new friendships new connections new business partnerships new opportunities regarding um the connection between people as well now one thing this um collective thing has done to us a lot of us has brought a lot of us together um worldwide there's connections being made with people new people that really just feel like they're on your level feel like that they, they, they speak your language that they that they want the same things or they want similar things and or they want to help you attain the the creative things that you want to attain or make um so so it's good it's a good start and so this is the, this is the manifestation card of of a build up of you doing that work you doing that thought work of of creating your future in your thoughts um finding something new that really fires you up that really gives you that inner burning that inner desire to go ahead with it because it's exciting because it's new because it, it feels like it's lasting it feels like it will be sustainable so the, there's the and that is all connected to these new connections being made between people also so it's a good card it, it's a very good card to show that your manifestation is working now just with the energies as they are today people might feel a little bit low a little bit frustrated um because it's happening but at the same time we still have this um 
scale hanging over us in that you know we don't know which way the scale is going to tip quite because of this collective thing that we've all been through that how how is this going to end so how long do we stay in isolation how long do businesses have to stay shut how there's lots of questions still behind this card um and that's unusual because usually you would be able to know where to plant this seed this pentacle this something that is going to grow um and right now it's just in in limbo a bit it's it's you know it's there but it's not quite grabbable yet it's not quite plantable in the ground yet if that's a word for it to for it to start to really grow but the importance is today that while you're feeling that limbo feeling while you're feeling that mm, i know it's there but how do i just keep taking the steps that you're guided to do um and try and let the outside scales that we're wondering which way they will tip you know how life will look after this is all said and done um just keep taking the steps and try and try and block out those scales don't don't let them distract you because that's part of the game in that they're there to distract you all of the mainstream media stuff is part of these scales to help tip it in favor of a few rather than the many so it's important right now that you just take those steps that you're guided to take that you're supported to take via the universe just keep plodding on you know just keep getting the next thing done next thing done because actually through doing that and you focusing on this pentacle on this seed on this idea this creative um pursuit this creative thing the words have gone sorry um by ignoring those scales by by concentrating on this it actually helps tip those scales in the collective's favour because that is putting energy not into the 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 narrative that, that wants to continue, that's trying to cling on. It's putting that energy where that and it relies on your energy, believe me, it relies on your energy to, to still be there, to still be in existence. So you taking that energy away and putting it into your seed that is that is that is putting the scales in the collective's benefit because sorry words just going so i hope you know what what i mean by that i'm just going to clarify a little bit more because it is important that the main narrative that has got us to where we are now and um, that has got us in this limbo that has had us under this control recognizes right at the top of the ladder it's recognized that our energy our creative purpose our our creative tools that have been trodden and held and controlled and conformed are very powerful that narrative relies on our energy it's its petrol it's its diesel so it's important to really not be yes take note of what's going on yes spread the word about what you think or what you know is going on but at the same time in your heart in your mind don't don't be trapped by getting into this narrative on this side by feeding it your energy by reacting to it because that's the trick you taking away that source of energy, that petrol, that diesel, however it is easier for you to think about it, for you to visualise it, you taking away that, that actually starts to dissolve the narrative. It stops it working. It, doesn't, it just doesn't work anymore without energy, without a fuel source. So the universe opening up this space and time of limbo is giving us all the opportunity to really take that energy away from that narrative, away from that mainstream media and flood our creative ideas with our energy, to live for a new purpose, to, to, to be creating a new life because putting our energy into that is gonna explode a narrative that we all 
want to be in, that we're all more comfortable being in, that we're all more free being in. So I hope that makes sense. But the second card is the star card. This is a beautiful, beautiful major arcana. This star represents healing, hope, the dream world. You know, we do a lot of our healing if we feel connected to ourselves. And even if we don't actually, even if we're a bit disconnected in our dreams, sometimes it's hard to face things when we're getting lots of things done in the day and we're distracted. Oh, it's hard to face things just because we're a bit frightened of facing them when we're when we're conscious when we're awake so sometimes it's easier for us to start the healing in the dream world and um, that happens often when you have flashback dreams or your brain gives you a similar dream to a circumstance that upset you or hurt you um, maybe even different characters but the same script and that's just to help prepare you for that healing, to help you prepare to face, consciously face whatever is dwelling in the subconscious that doesn't serve you, that doesn't do you any good to go forward with. So this card is a beautiful card and it's deep healing. It's every layer healing. So this comes in at a perfect time as well because healing all of our layers all of our subconscious healing ourselves on every level means that we have no leaks of energy means that we really are fired up that we really are working to our optimum so it gives us that extra energy source to make this new life to feed this energy into this new life into this new creative purpose into this new seed so where the, to the, the tower is often, well it, it is numbered, it's before the, before the star card. Now the tower is destruction, it's chaos, it's everything that is made of ego, made of illusion in your life, crashing down. And sometimes it's just like standing there in a war zone in your mind, looking around at you and looking at the environment you're in and the people that you're with. And thinking I'm not meant to be doing this I'm not meant to be living like this and that can be a real shock too so it's just to take that energy in today and just feel it don't even do anything with it at first today just feel it let let it let it rise up and and just recognize that it's there that's the start of this healing process. But where the star card represents the, the calm and harmony after the storm, it also represents achievement, going forward. It represents inspiration. It represents you supporting you, you being strong enough to support you. So it's a real card of restoration. That's the word, restoration. So you're restoring yourself. And in that rest restoration, it gives you so much more energy and impetus to go forward with this new creative world that you want to, to build around you. So the third card is the Queen of Cups. She's in reverse. So the Queen of Cups of Fright is compassionate, intuitive and, you know, open. In reverse she often speaks to adultery she often speaks to detachment um, and I feel that although that might feel negative for a lot of people I feel for a lot of people it represents this after the tower moment in the star energy after the tower moment when you're looking around and realizing I don't belong here I don't fit here and so a lot of people might be moving away from their current circumstance from 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 what they've created to build a tower that isn't them anymore and that's okay we all have cycles in life and levels and we should be experiencing life fully so 
whatever side you're on of this, whether you're the person that is feeling detached and and looking around that, that after the tower moment, feeling like you're not quite there, then you're going through this healing process. You're recognizing the, the leaks, you're recognizing um, the wrong aspects, or the aspects not wrong, the aspects that just aren't right anymore. If you're on the other side of this and you have not felt like you wanted to detach have from the people around you, from partners, from friends, from it might be a bit of a shock. And for those people, it might feel like you're still in the tower card energy, the, the card before this star. Or it might be that you're completely oblivious to it. When it does become apparent, if you are on that side, know that everything happens for a reason and everything is manifested through our own actions. So nobody should be a victim in this. Nobody should feel like a victim in this. The new energy is observant, new energy that's coming in, that wants to be here, doesn't get triggered, is, is intuitive and thoughtful and has clarity. So know that if you are on the other side of this, the universe holds for you also a place, people, business, friends, whatever that is for you, that is perfect for you, that will make you feel fired up that will make you want to create something new. So it could be difficult, but it, it is it is necessary. So on the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Wands, and that is speaking to, again, perseverance, um, confidence, going forward, strength, purpose, carrying on, having the courage to go forward being focused and that speaks to this pentacle being really fired up this is fire this is the ones to fired up to 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 go forward to create this new world for yourself with the people in it with the the, the job the business in it whatever that may be for you the products that you want to create the inventions all of that is this 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 fire and and this calling from the universe to persevere to keep going again just that just take those steps just go just go with those steps ignore those scales on the outside and take those steps and that feeds great energy into the collective bucket so to speak so it also speaks to being recognized and um when you're recognized there could be some jealousy, there could be some, you know, shade passed your way, but it doesn't matter. You mustn't care what anybody else thinks. You mustn't worry about anybody else's judgment. If you're not hurting people, if you're doing it for, from your heart, if you're doing something because it makes you feel good genuinely, then you, you it does not matter. But with that attention, there's also a lot of good attention. There's also a lot of people there cheering you on, supporting you. So again, it's you being discerning and you having the strength to, just like I said at the start of this reading, take any energy away from anybody who's casting shade, casting hate at you, judging you, and put the energy into those people that are coming around you, that can new connections, those new friendships, those new business partnerships, who are really feeding you a, a lovely energy source that will keep you going. So be balanced, be whole. That's it for the 13th of April. There's Theodore. Hey Theo. Um love you very much. If you would like a reading, I'm get going in to touch show with you. Me. It's going to tell Mammy's channel and Emma Come up here. and like Emma and press the fencing board. Yes, yes, you've had chocolate for breakfast, haven't you? Mr. Um, Egg. And make sure you 
Shout out Mommy's channel. Yeah, shout out Mommy's channel. So, thank you, Theodore. So, 13th of April, that's it. I hope you have a great day. Much love, if they said that already, but be balanced and be whole. Love you all. Mwah.